Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this video, I will show you how to synchronize an audio and video file by merging them into a single clip. And we will be merging them using the marker features. So this way, once the files are merged in together, when you put them in a timeline, everything is going to fall into place much easier and you're going to be able to drag that merge video clip around very, very easily. So the first thing that we're going to do is to add the markers. So I'm going to open the video file and in Adobe Premiere Pro CC, you can see either the video file or you can see the audio clip of that file. So I'm going to press the graph key to maximize this and you can very easily see at what point my clapper was. So once you put the cursor over the clapper, you will go to the add marker button here or press the M key to add a marker. So you can see the marker has been added in the timeline here. And then we're going to do the same thing with the audio files. So I'm going to go where the clapper is and sometimes you might have to use the step back or step forward buttons here or you can use the wheel on your mouse if you want to move around and once you have it where you like it you're going to press the add marker And once the marker has been added, you are going to click both files here. You're going to right click, merge clips, and we're going to call it merge by marker. And then you're going to select the clip marker here. And again, you can remove the audio file from the video clip. So that way you're going to have only the good audio from your external device. So we're going to click OK. And once that is merged, you can drag it into a thing here and you're good to go. So as you can see, you can move the file very easily. If you need to edit it, you can open it up into the source monitor here and then you can drag to whatever point you want and you can set your in point and out point there. Then we're going to remove this and then you're just going to drag it back. So you're going to have just the section you selected. So that way you can very easily cut down the video clip to just the size that you want and remove all the bad parts from it using just the source monitor and you drag it into your timeline when it's ready. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe and share with a friend. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.